Jesus is real to me. Oh, yes, he gives me the victory. So many people doubt him. I can't live without him. That is why I love him so. He's so real to me. My God, he's real, real. Jesus is real to me. Oh, yes, he gives me the victory. So many people doubt him. I can't live without him. That is why I love him so. He's so real to me. My God, he's real, real. Jesus is real to me. Oh, yes, gives me the victory. So many people doubt him. I can't live without him. That is why I love him so. He's so real to me. My God, he's real, real. Jesus is real to me. Oh, yes, he gives me the victory. So many people doubt him. I can't live without him. That is why I love him so. He's so real to me. My God, he's real, real. Jesus is real to me. Oh, yes, he gives me the victory. So many people doubt him. I can't live without him. That is why I love him so. He's so real to me. Well, God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Pope. Good morning, Sister Banks. God bless you. Good morning, A. Robertson. God bless you. Good morning, Elder and Sister Dorset. Good morning, Sister Jackson. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Shy. Good morning, Mika. Good morning, Reese. God bless you. Good morning, Tamika. God bless you, Dr. Harrison. Good morning, excuse me, little Bruce Lee. Good morning, Miss Kelly. Good morning, um, Brandon, God bless you, sir. Good morning. Fancy Soph, God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord, everybody. Good morning. Having a couple of difficulties here. Good morning. God bless you, Dr. Hayward, and your lovely wife. Good morning. Lady Fe Mother Fields, God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Bishop and Mother Joseph, God bless you. Good morning. Sister Josephine, God bless you. Good morning, Sylvia. God bless you. Good morning, Bailey. God bless you, my friend. Good morning. Good morning. Sister Briscoe, God bless you. Good morning. Elder Adams, God bless you. And Sister Adams, good morning, Duchess. God bless you, Brother Aaron and the family. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Sister Jackson Perry, God bless you. Brother Perry and your family, good morning. Brother Comfort, God bless you. Good morning, Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Riley. Good morning, Sister Rodriguez. Good morning, Sister um, Mary Dykes. God bless you. Good morning, Bishop and Mother Joseph. God bless you, your family, and all the saints of Trinidad, Tobago. Good morning, Mother Holman. Good morning, Brother Paul. Praise Jesus. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Wright. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon Grant. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Sister Roseford. God bless you. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to be able to spend a few moments with you with a biblical meditation and in prayer. For more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And we continue to witness and see the manifestation of the power of God through the function of prayer. God answering prayer, God delivering people through prayer, God doing what we know God is indeed able to do. And we thank God, we thank God today that we know that prayer works. As always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share it with us. If you're on Facebook, you can place it right into the chat or you can inbox Reginald Davis or inbox 
Refuge Temple Church. If you're on Instagram, you can place it right there in the chat on the screen, or you can direct message Pastor RJD, Pastor RJD. And to everybody that's on the conference call, and I thank God for our conference call listeners, everybody on YouTube or anybody can text in your prayer request to 336 336- Five six seven five three five eight. Again, that number is three three six five six seven five three five eight. Text in your prayer request. We're adding them to the prayer book, to the prayer list, and we are believing God with you for the working of miracles, signs, and wonders in your life. Come and go with me now to the one hundred thirty fifth Psalm, Psalm one hundred thirty five, and I want to conclude the psalm today beginning at verse 15 and reading to verse 21 the bible says the idols of the heathen are silver and gold the work of men's hands they have mouths but they speak not eyes have they but they see not they have ears but they hear not neither is there any breath in their mouths they that make them are like unto them So is everyone that trusteth in them. Bless the Lord, O house of Israel. Bless the Lord, O house of Aaron. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi. Ye that fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord out of Zion, which dwelleth at Jerusalem. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. And I want to just use for a simple thought today, God is real hallelujah god is real god is real there are too many people that question doubt um attempt to invalidate um the favor and the reality of god So many um, live in either one of two mindsets. The first mindset is that of the agnostic. And the agnostic questions the reality of God. Not in full agreement, not in full mindset, but questions whether or not God is real. The atheist doesn't believe in God at all doesn't believe in any existence of a deity beyond himself. And as the Bible says, the fool have said in his heart, there is no God. And so you have this mindset. And then you have people that believe in God, but they question God's ability. And they'll say things like, I know there's something out there. Don't know what he does, don't know what he says, but I know there's something out there. Well, that means you really don't believe God because, and there are people, and I'm going to say this, and this is important, that believe in God, but yet don't believe God. Say that one more time. They believe in God. They believe that a God exists, but they don't believe what he says. They don't believe in his power, his ability, his reality. And it becomes obvious by their behavior that they really question what God can do. And and I want to say this, that if you're going to see the manifestation of the power of God, you have to believe in God and you have to believe what God says. The Bible says that, hallelujah, that, um, God, they that come of the God must believe that he is. First of all, it says without faith, it's impossible to please God. Faith is the language of God. And if you're not operating, speaking and moving in faith, guess what? You can't talk to God and God can't talk to you because faith is the language of God. And he that cometh to God must believe, not should or perhaps or if you have the wherewithal, you must believe. Hallelujah in God. You must believe. 
You must believe that he is, that he is real, that he is reality, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That means I have to believe in the existence of God, and then I have to believe what God says. Whatever God has promised, whatever God has initiated, whatever God has spoken into my life, I have to believe the reality of what God has said. And if you miss that, you miss the blessings, you miss the support, you miss the favor, you miss the glory, you miss the power, you miss the presence of God just simply because you refuse. And I use that word refuse to believe in God because there are, there are believers, there are doubters, and then there are unbelievers. Believers are those people that take God at his word. That if God's word says it, they believe it, they accept it, they articulate it, they pray towards it, they believe God. But then all of us, whether we choose to admit it or not, have been doubters. Doubters in the sense that you knew God was able, but you just weren't sure if he would do it. You knew God was able. But you weren't just, you just weren't sure. There was the physical realities. There was some level of fear. There was some level of, of, of shakiness in your faith. And you just didn't trust him as you should. And that's why Jesus said, when you pray, believe that you will have whatsoever things you say. Now, you're not believing in your word. You're believing in God's word. That because God has said it and because he cannot lie, if God has promised it, I'm going to lay hold to the promise. I'm going to believe God for it and I'm going to receive what God has indeed ordained for my life. That's the faith that every believer must have. If you want to see your prayers answered, if you want God to come to your rescue, you have to believe what God has said. And then there are the unbelievers. And unbelievers are not doubters. Doubters are swayed by the moment. Doubters are swayed by the circumstance or the condition, how bad it looks and how bad it feels. And that has an impact on doubters. But, but you need to understand that unbelievers are people that refuse to believe God. Despite what they see, despite what God has done, despite what God has said, despite how God is acting, unbelievers simply refuse to believe God. They just say, I don't care what he does. I won't believe it. I don't care what he's done in the past. I won't believe it. Israel, many in Israel fell into the category of unbelievers because after they saw what God had done, they refused to believe God. They saw the miracles. They saw the Red Sea open up. They saw the plagues fall upon Egypt. They saw the water come out of rocks. They saw manna fall from heaven. They saw the quail fly into their nets. But after all that God did, they refused to believe him. And some of us find ourselves teetering on that category because we have seen God do amazing things. We have seen God work miracles. We have seen God save, heal, deliver, provide. We've seen all of that. But then some of us, because of the present circumstance or because of anger or fear or whatever is working against us, we have simply come to a mindset that we just don't believe God. And that's a dangerous place to be because if you're not believing God, what are you believing in? If you aren't trusting God, what are you trusting? If you aren't standing with God, what are you standing upon? And that was the mindset that the psalmist confronts in these last few verses of the 135th Psalm. He talks about the idols of the heathen. Now, most people in this day and age don't worship a physical idol. But if you're not worshiping God, you're worshiping something. Let me say that again. If you're not worshiping God, you're worshiping something. What are you worshiping? Some of us worship our physical wealth. Some of us worship our good looks. Some of us worship family, friends. Some of us worship politics. Some of us worship, hallelujah, of fame and fortune and things of that nature. That's the mindset now. That's why there's such a celebrity mentality, not only in the world, but in the church. Everybody wants a flyer. Everybody wants this. Everybody wants that. But in reality, if you want to see God work, you've got to believe in him. Some people worship themselves. 
They really think that they are without flaw or blemish or anything wrong with them. And whatever they do, whatever they say is right. They have a, they, they're bent towards their own mind and their own mentality because they are worshiping themselves. And they are like the idols that the psalmist describes in verse 15. The idols of heathen are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. We are worshiping what God created for us to use. And, and if you have to worship something that you have to build, how can it be God? If I've got to build the idol, if a man's hand has to construct the idol, how can I trust the idol to be a God? They, it might be made of precious items, but somebody had to fashion it. Somebody had to build it. God made us. We did not make God. Let me say that again. God made us. We did not make God. That's how I know he's God, because he made me. If I had to make him, then I'm the God. Do you follow what I'm saying? If I had to make him, I'm the God. But if God made me, he is the God. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. He says they have mouths, but they speak not. They don't say anything. They have eyes, have they, but they see not. They can't see your distress. They can't see your trouble. They can't see your burden. They can't see anything. They have ears, but they hear not. Who is listening as you're crying out? To that idol, as you're leaning on flesh, as you're leaning on wealth, as you're leaning on, hallelujah, materialism, as you're leaning on what people say about you, how can you trust it? They have eyes, they have ears rather, but they hear not. Neither is there any breath in their mouths. There's no life in them. There is no life in them. How can you trust something to rescue you that has no life? You got to move it from the table to the floor, from the car, to the house. You've got to move it. So how in the world is that a God? How is it a God? He says, they that make them are like unto them. If you have a dead God, you yourself are dead. Let me say that again. If you have a dead God, you yourself are dead. How in the world can a God that, that has no life give you life? How can a God that has no reality make you real? The Bible says in him, in God, we move, we live, we have our being. We get all of it from God. The brain activity, the heart activity, the lung activity, the capacity to move and to think and to operate, all of that comes from God. But if you're leaning on an idol, you are as dead as the idol. The idol has no awareness, and guess what? You have no awareness. You have no reality, no awareness, because you don't believe in the true and living God. He is alive, saints. He is alive. And, and so is everyone that trusteth in them. If you trust dead stuff, if you trust inanimate stuff, if you trust things that are not real, all you can have is what a dead God can give you. And that's nothing. All you can possess is what a dead God can give you. And that's bondage. All that you can, oh God, walk in is the death, the disconnection, hallelujah, the condemnation of that idol. That's all you can have. But because I know God is real, I, the psalmist closes this psalm in praise. Bless the Lord, O house of Israel. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O house of Aaron. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi. Ye that fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Because I know he's real, I worship him. I honor him. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Blessed be the Lord out of Zion, which dwelleth at Jerusalem. Praise ye the Lord. Because God is real, I'm going to give him real praise. Because God is real, I'm going to give him real worship. Because God is real, I'm going to give him real honor because I know he's real. So many people doubt him, but I can't live without him. That is why I love him so. He's so real. God is real, saints. 
God is real and I honor him and I thank him today for being real. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for each of you and thank God for this word. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Gracious God, we love you. We thank you for your goodness, your mercy, your grace, your love, and your kindness. Lord, we honor you because you have done so many wonderful things for us. You have kept us. You have provided for us. You have blessed us over and over again. And Lord, we're just thankful. Thank you for last night's rest. And thank you for waking us up this morning in our right mind. We were able to get out of the bed. We were able to get prepared to join this great cadre of believers. Lord, from all over the world, I thank you today for the morning prayer family. I thank you for every heart, whether they've come by Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or the conference call. Thank you for everybody that is on this line today. And God, we give you glory right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we're praying today for everybody on the prayer line. We're praying today for every request that has come through the chat, through text, through messenger, through email. Lord, even the unspoken request we hold up to you right now. God, because we know that you're real and we know that you're able. We know that you're real and we know that you're able. And God, we're praying for every name that's on the prayer list today, that you would minister to every need and every necessity necessity and every problem right now in the name of Jesus. God, we pray today for miracle that you would touch and deliver. We pray, my God, for minister and sister triplet. We pray for Jennifer McCarroll Johnson, and we pray for Irvin Johnson, God, for your mighty hand of deliverance. We pray for Mother Barbara Pittman today. We pray for Sister Sheila Reed. We pray for Stacy and Trayvon. God, I'm praying for the children of the saints today. Lord, I want you to save and deliver and strengthen, oh God, and help God in the name of Jesus. Somebody is crying for their son. Somebody's crying for their daughter. Somebody's crying, my God, hallelujah, for their grandchildren, their nieces, their nephews. But we believe you right now for deliverance. So stretch out your mighty hand. God, I'm praying today that you remember Sister Seneca Austin. Remember Sister, Sister Lisa, Lady Lisa Kinchin today. Remember the Edwards family. Remember Buddy Winston. Remember Shardell Willis. Remember the Willis family. God, remember Dexter today. Remember Marie and family. Remember Shirley Boyd. Remember Blanche Washington. Remember Latasia Davis today. Remember the Bradley family, Dee Dee, Diamond, Tyree, Breon, and Lee Bradley. Remember Maurice Barnes today. Mikael Davis. Remember Nakisha Harris. Remember Tiana Sotomayor. Remember my God, Elijah Pratt today. Stretch out your hand, my God, upon my God, Deacon and Sister Shy. God, remember Jan today. Remember Ronza. Remember Sheila Scott. Remember the Scott family, the Hare family, the Brown family. Remember Dolo Cuts today. Remember, oh God, Mary Keelan. Remember Jamisha, Jaria, Jamelia, Janice, Janella. Remember my God, Sarah Williams. Remember Clayton and Tyler today in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember brother and sister Bugs this morning. Remember the Smith family and Brianna. God, remember, oh God, leaders everywhere. Remember Bishop and Mother Joseph, Bishop and Lady Alday, Bishop and Mother Wright, Bishop, oh God, and Lady Wilkins, Bishop Clifton Staten today. Remember Bishop and Mother Darby, Bishop Sylvester Reed. We pray today for Bishop and Mother Smith. We pray for Bishop and Lady Davenport, for Bishop and Lady Cousins, Apostle and Lady Keith today, Apostle and Lady Parsons, Apostle Michael Fields today, Apostle, oh God, and Lady Barry, Apostle and Lady May, Apostle and Mother Clark today. God, remember every name on this prayer list. God, I'm praying that you would save, save, save 
save to the utmost. God, bring us. Oh, God, bring those souls out of sin. Bring them, oh, God, out of iniquity. Bring them out of addiction and bondage and let them be washed in your precious blood, born of the water and born of the spirit. God, I pray for backsliders everywhere today. Lord, that you would stretch out your hand to touch and deliver. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray, my God, that you would reclaim and restore and revive. And Lord, I pray for the broken, the burdened, the downcast, the depressed, my God, the troubled everywhere. God, that you would just step in and deliver. Because we know that you're a deliverer right now. God, we're praying for the sick this morning everywhere, everywhere. God, people are suffering in their bodies, but we're believing you, God, for healing right now. Remember, my God, Deborah Smith. Remember Deacon Jimmy Tucker today. Remember Pastor Kevin Kinchin. Remember Sister Gertrude Austin, Mother Reeves, Mother Blunt, Mother Johnson, Mother Bryant. Remember my God, Beth Chisholm this morning. Lord, remember Cynthia Jackson Perry. God, cover and be with her and heal. Remember my God, Miss Pauline. Remember Mabel. Remember Doris Williams. Remember Sister Paul. Remember John Baker today. Remember Shirley's mother. God, we pray for Horace Sellers, for Asaya. Oh God, oh God, Hutchinson. We pray for Brandon Adams, for Tamika Dillard, for Tim Manns, for Deacon Frank Watson, for Daria, for Renee, for Sister Beverly McNair, for Sister Hodge, God. We pray for Alma and Sarah. We pray, my God, for Miss Hawkins, for LaShawn today. We pray for Miss Davenport. We pray for Amy, for Camilla Mott. We pray for Lady Staten this morning. We pray for Leona. We pray, my God, for Troy Gates, for Sean Jenkins, for Kamar Haynes today, for Margot Briscoe's mother. We pray, my God, for Sylvia Hood. We pray for Aunt Andrew Morris today, for Kayla, for Shante Jeter today, for Kamisha Robinson, for Bessie Drawn. We lift up, my God, Minister Perkins today. We pray for Daniel and Xavier, for Deacon Adams, for Deacon and Mother Wilson, Deacon and Sister Harrison. We pray, my God, for Phil Solomon. We pray, my God, for Elder Toll and Elder Dokes today. God, we pray that you would touch my God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Mother Virgie DuBose, Mother Mary Williams, Mother Lloyd, Mother Perry today, Mother Meadows, God. We're praying today, oh God, for Missionary Janet Davis, Missionary Joyce Domingo, Missionary Gail Hardy today, Missionary, hallelujah, Marlene, hallelujah, Roseman, Missionary Jesse Brisbane, Missionary Hodges today. We're praying for Sister Denise McLean. We're praying, my God, that you would remember, oh God, Mother Elizabeth Wilson, Brother Carl today. We pray for Deacon James Grant. We pray for Philip Grant. We pray for Pastor and Lady Winston. We pray for Bishop and Mother D. We pray for Apostle and Lady Keith today. God, we're lifting up in the name of Jesus, Bishop Alfonso Brooks, Bishop Early Dillard, Mother Shirley Clark, Mother Evangeline Jenkins, Lady Andrea Maxwell, Mother Close today. We're praying for healing right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah for Mother Coleman, for Sister Shakaya Polk. We're praying, oh God, for your continued healing right now. My God, upon Bishop Richard Phillips, Bishop Richard Johnson, Bishop Clonell Williams, Bishop Gregory Wilder, Bishop Irving Taylor, Bishop Alvin Palmer, Bishop Larry Arnold, Bishop Stephen Harper, Bishop Brian Williams, Bishop William Jenkins, Bishop Johnny Davis today. We're praying, my God, for Lady J, for Lady Kathy Forehand. We're praying, my God, for Lady Barbara Vincent, for Lady Williams, for Lady Deborah Carter, for Lady Pamela Davenport, for Mother Stokes. God, stretch out your healing hand to Apostle Herbert Edwards, Apostle Leroy Joseph, Apostle Charles Williams, Apostle Sylvester Norwood, Brother Wiggins today, Brother and Mother Sherrod, Mother Garland, Dr. Hayward, Sister Hayward, Dr. Hayward's mother. We're praying, my God, for your healing virtue to be upon Mother Jill and Mother Pride. We're praying for healing right now in the name of Jesus upon Elder and Mother Dugan, Elder and Mother Murray, upon Brother, oh God, and Mother Chambers today. We're praying for Mother Carter, for Mother Moorhead, God. We're praying for Lady Staten. Lord, remember in the name of Jesus, Minister Carr, remember Elder Tyson and Elder Smith today. My God, remember these precious souls that stand in need of healing. God, touch them now. Mother Foster, Henry J., Brother Cliff. Remember Mother Tanaj, Mother Holman, Missionary Simmons today. Remember Cynthia, Catherine, and Duchess this morning. God, remember Marlette. Remember Maurice today. Remember, my God, Tony and Dennis. Remember... 
Chris today. Remember Kimberly, God. We pray for Mother Jackson this morning. We pray for Cynthia. We pray, my God, for Apostle Moultrie. God, stretch out your healing hand, oh God, to every hospital, nursing home, rehab center, even in hospice, God. You are the bomb in Gilead. Lord, we pray today for the grieving everywhere. Lord, everywhere, God, somebody has lost a loved one. And we pray, my God, that you would help them, that you would grant them peace in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for Mother Dorothy Bryan and her family. We pray for Bishop Henry Davenport and his family. We pray, my God, for missionary Anita Bryan and her family, for Sister Janelle Rousen and her family, for Minister Jamie Carr and his family. We pray, my God, for Sister Cheryl Wilson and the Wilson family today. We pray, my God, that you remember Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson's, oh God, friend and family. Remember the Williams family. Remember George Morning, Charles Brody and family, Hilda and the grandchildren. Remember the Carey family. Remember Bishop Daniel Spellman and family, the Clark family. Remember, my God, the family of the teenager in Braddock, Pennsylvania. Remember Sister Virgie Wright today in the family, Sister Deborah Graves and family. Remember Rhonda Darlington, Rebecca Abraham, Bruce Rickenbacker. Remember Sister Sharon Johnson, oh God, her family and the Refuge Temple of Columbia. Remember the King and Drumwright families, the Grooms family, Lynette Johnson's family, Pastor Chance, Dr. Robertson. Remember, my God, Pastor Lindsay. Remember the Hubbard and Taylor families. Remember Kim Sermon and family, Callie Gardner and family, the Brown family, and the Greater Refuge Temple family of Washington, D.C. Remember the Bryant family today. God, I pray for all of these grieving families everywhere. Remember Mother Moya and Mother Walker. Remember Jaleesa. Remember Jackie. Remember Whitney and Phoenicia today. My God, remember in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember these grieving souls. God, comfort them now in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember Takesha. Remember Jerry and their families. Remember Lady Maxwell, Charles and Cedric and the family. Remember Mother Close today. Remember, my God, hallelujah, Dr. Carter and the family. Remember, in the name of Jesus, oh God, Apostle Phil Shekinah and the family. Lord, I'm praying today that you remember the Quarles family. Remember Mother Harrell and the family, Mother Grant and the family. Remember, my God, the Groover family, the Kramer family, the Hargrove family, the Blunt family, the Bonhams, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carters, the Giles family. Remember the Meadows family, the Moyer family, the Perkins family, the Dockery family, Sister Pam, her mom and her sisters. Remember the White family. Remember Anita today. Oh God, in the Brian Hopkins family. Remember my God in your precious name. Hallelujah. Remember Hallelujah. Margie and the McLean, Melvin and Street families. Remember the Ransom family, the Jackson family, the Newkirk family, the Ned family, the Green family today. God, I pray today that you would comfort my God in the name of Jesus, the Nunn family, the Umstead family. God, look on Brenda and the Alan McNeely family, Sean and Monique and the Gary Porter family, Trell and Ryan and the Allen Williams family. My God, look on. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, Tommy and Michelle and the Clark family. I pray for the Mays, the Dunlaps, the Purdies, the Sneeds, the Washington Fields family. I pray for the Winninghams, the Bankses, the Wades today. I pray for the Middletons and the Taylors. I pray for the Felix family, the Sapata family, the Mannix, the Boodrums, the Gleans, the Arthurs, the Matherins, the Briggs family. God, I pray today for the Phillips. My God, God, the Taylors, the Josephs. Lord, I lift up the Davises today, the Allens, the Caldwells, the Hayses, the Moors. Oh God, I pray for the Austins, the Harbisons, the Adams family, the Austin family. God, every grieving widow, every grieving widower, every child, parent, sibling, loved one. God, we pray for them today in the name of Jesus Christ. God, we lift up in the name of Jesus, the body of Christ today. Every apostle, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, every bishop and elder, every first lady, all all the pastors, children, mothers and missionaries, ministers and deacons. We pray for the young people today, for musicians, singers and psalmists. God, look on the church, God, and let the church know that you're real. Let the church pray, worship, honor you as the living God that you are. God, strengthen the church and live through the church in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I pray for first responders, essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. God, I pray today that you remember 
Oh God, school employees and students everywhere. Remember during public schools. God, I pray today that you look on. Hallelujah. Everybody that works, cover them, keep them, protect them, sustain them. And God, look on everybody that needs a job. Lord, open a door, create an opportunity. And Lord, those that are on fixed incomes, God, make a way for them today. Provide for them, keep them. Hallelujah. And sustain them. And God, look on this troubled world. There is trouble everywhere and the trouble is mounting. But God, we trust you today as the bomb in Gilead, as the healer of the land. So God, heal the land. Heal the land from sin. Heal the land from unrighteousness. Heal the land from hatred and jealousy and violence. Heal the land from injustice. Heal the land from racism and sexism. And let your church be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. God, we need you. Hallelujah, because we know that you're real. Help us and keep us today. And as you do all of this, we give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Everybody on this line, come on and help me give God praise right now. Everybody on this line, help me give God praise right now. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. This is my declaration for today. Thank you, God, for being real. Thank you, God, for being real. I am so grateful that I serve a true, living, and a real God. Hallelujah. He is real. Hallelujah. And from everlasting to everlasting, he is God. Hallelujah. And every day he shows me, he shows you, he shows us another reason to acknowledge him for his reality. Answering prayer, giving comfort, sending his presence into our midst, just doing what we know God is able to do. And we honor him today and we praise him and we glorify him because he is real. He is real. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm trusting that this biblical meditation and prayer has blessed you and that your morning is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected to Refuge Temple all day today. This prayer service is available on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Thank God for those that join us by conference call. Keep coming, keep sharing the number and stay with us each morning at 630. You can also stay connected through our podcast, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud and Spotify. All of this available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I want to thank everybody that seeds and sows and shares with this ministry. Your gifts help us to do the things that we need to do. And we thank God for them and we thank God for you. And if you desire to be a blessing, you can mail a gift to Refuge Temple Church, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. That's Refuge Temple, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. You can also give online. Our website is www.refugetemple.com. N is in North, C is in Carolina.com, Refuge Temple, NC.com, and you can give on the donate page. If you have the GiveLify app, just simply type Refuge Temple Burlington. You'll see a picture of the church to know you're in the right place, and you can make your gift there. Or if you have Cash App, our Cash App is dollar sign, capital O N E, capital R E F U G E, one refuge, one word, one refuge, and you can make your gift there. You'll see a picture of of the church logo. And we thank you for your giving, but we thank you most of all for being a part of the morning prayer family. And we thank God for each and every one of you that joins us in prayer each day. Remember that May 3rd and 4th is Founders Day at Greater Refuge Temple in New York City, honoring the life of our late apostle R.C. Lawson. Also, praise our God, we're going to be honoring some other people who have been pivotal in the history of our great church. And this is a benefit to support the educational pursuits of the church of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have schools, we have scholarships to fund, and we just want to be a blessing in this effort. And our goal is $20,000. And we are believing God for the provision that he's going to make it. I'm going to be asking some of you that would to share with us so that we can be a blessing to Founders Day and bless the effort.
effort that is sponsored by the International Board of Bishops. Hallelujah. I want to remind everybody, if you still want to go to the Caribbean, St. Kitts, Jamaica, St. Lucia, there's still time to sign up. Just find that flyer that's on um, my Facebook page. All right, get the information, click the link so you can sign up so they can give you the information for your reservations and whatnot. And we really would love for you to join us and be with us because God is blessing the work and we want to go and be a further blessing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Look, I want to thank God for the morning prayer family. We love all of you and we appreciate you. Please keep praying. Please keep coming to prayer and please keep sharing the prayer with others. And as you pray, please pray for me. Pray for Lady Davis. Pray for our children. Pray for my father. Pray for my sisters, my in-laws, our nieces, our nephews, our entire family. Pray for Refuge Temple that God will continue to bless us. And let's pray one for another that the grace of God might keep us and sustain us. The Lord make his reality reality evident daily in your life. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom. Shalom.